complete control of our time. But we need to realize that only God controls time. There are times in life when we put a plan in motion for exactly how we want things to work out when we want them to work out. You don't just say, man plans and God laughs. See, it can be easy to forget that God's perfect timing in our lives can turn out completely different from what we imagine. I believe the eagle eyed prophet Isaiah says it like this For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my way, for my ways are higher than your ways. And so, how many times do we think we are the ones that are in control of our time? Time is uh, our most precious resource. Time is irreplaceable. And none of us can go back and relive our yesterdays. Our yesterdays are history. Yes. Our tomorrows are a mystery. Yes. And therefore, we say, this is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad. 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 And I'm wondering, is there anybody glad, glad to be in the day of the Given us, all of us, the same amount of time. 24 hours a day. And, and he, he alone is the timekeeper of our 24 hours a day. So I want to tell somebody, make sure you give God some praise time in your 24 hour day. That's what David said. I will bless the Lord. At all times. And see, the quality of that time often depends on how wisely we use the time we have. Benjamin Franklin says it like this Lost time is never found again. <laughs> Come on, Ben, talk to me. <laughs> all the time we are good at wasting time. Okay? We should be so thankful that God's time is always. Perfect. He's never late, mm -hmm. never early, but he's always mm -hmm. on time. Choir, you sing song. He's on time, God. Yes, he is. Yes, he's about to play. He's on time. Yes. Amen. Sweet. Trust God. Perfect time in our life. And as we allow God to control the time of our life, there may be times. We need to give us information and revelation about our situation. God may say to you, it's your time. This is your season for your breakthrough blessing. God may say to you, this is your time for me to bless you abundantly. Okay, Your season is upon you. And God may say, this my brothers and my sisters, it's your time to go back to school and get that degree that you've been talking about. Yeah. You've been talking about it, but it just wasn't the right time. But God says, now is the time. He, he said, and the reason it's my time because I've already ordered your steps. Yeah, it's time. It, it's time. It's time to start that new business. Oh, you've been talking about it, thinking about it. So go by yourself a mop and a bucket, a broom and a dust pan, a bottle of Windex and a roll of paper towels. Start your clean business. You ain't got to clean but one office a night. That's five offices a week. Try not to work on Sunday. <laughs> Clean them off. He said, bro, in two seasons, when the time is right, I'm going to increase and multiply your cleaning business. I'm going to open up the windows of heaven and pour you out the blessing. You don't know what's going to happen in your life. I will bless your business. 
It's time. Yo, yeah, it's time to let go of your hurt feelings. Yeah. You all, you, you all have been friends for as long as you can remember. You told him something in confidence. But when you went to the backyard barbecue, <laughs> they had few ranks. <laughs> as a matter of fact, they had one drink too many. And then you started running their mouth. Told everybody who would listen what you told them in private. In private. And every time you see them, you get angry. All swole up. You, you, you get all out of character of who you really are as a person. And clap! So it's time to let it go. It's holding you down and it's holding you back. You need to F, 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 N, F, forever. Forgive, forget, fast forward. Time to move on. No! What they did in practice, yes, they did. It's not easy. But when God says it's time to let it go, move on, it's time. Time to leave that job sometimes that keeps you all stressed out. Been there 38 and a half years. Now they come up with new policies and procedures and new personnel. More you do, the more they expect you to do. Stress! Got you talking to yourself. I tell you one thing right now. Them people that would be crazy. No, no, no. Them people that are God. They're going to make me lose my religion. I'm a child of God. And I'm not going to lay about it. And I'm not going to cuss about it. But when God says it's time, I'm out. See it. We don't want to be. God speaks to us sometimes, my brother and sister. He says it's time. To take my relationship with God more seriously. Yeah. I'm in a part time relationship with God. Yeah. I, I only talk to God and I only pray to God when trouble shows up in my life. If I miss a Sunday or two or three or four, it's no big deal. But as good as God has been to me and my family, I need to be more humble and more faithful and more grateful. I really need to stop being sometimey eh, and get serious in my relationship with God. And when I look at myself, I should be ashamed of myself because God has been better to me than I've been to me. So I need to learn to be more serious in my relationship. It, 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 it's time. Time to make a real commitment to God. Yeah, I don't have a problem being committed to my job. No, no, no. I hardly ever missing the time from work. Matter of fact, I'll be there 15 minutes early every day. <laughs> I, I ain't got no problem being committed to bingo on Friday night. As a matter of fact, I'm so committed, I go there early and help set up bingo. Yeah, I'm committed. Once a month, to give my manicure and my pedicure. Amen. I'm messing with you. I'm about to shut up now. I'm going to get in real trouble. <laughs> I'm committed to everything and everybody except God. Yeah. 
There is no excuse. There is no excuse for my lack of commitment to God. No excuse. So I need to examine myself and get real with God. It's time for me to move to a new level of appreciation for all of the blessings that God has given me. It's time to examine myself and I need to make my walk match my talk because I'm good. I mean, good top gun at talking Christ. But I need to stir and learn how to start walking with Christ. Time for me to time, time, time for me to stop playing church. And it's time for me to start living church. Oh, this might not be popular, but it's the truth. Time for me to move from membership to discipleship. I need to tell somebody about the goodness of the Lord. Time. I'm almost finished with here. Time to get a real job. So I can take my own car insurance. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I come to an age in my life, or sin in my life. I need to learn some independence. Time for me to learn responsibility and accountability. It's time in the sin in my life that I need to stop depending on my parents for everything in life. Yeah, I heard that old preacher say once Sunday morning. Yeah, I, I kind of dove off, but I caught some of the preachers here. I heard them talk about 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 11, verse 11. He said, when I was a child, I spoke as a child. I thought as a child. When I became a man, I put away childish things. Time went for the mighty. In my life, I need to grow up and man up and show up for God. Solomon, I'm almost finished. Solomon, his point here in his third chapter is that timing, my brothers and sisters, is anything. God has a plan and a path and a purpose for all our lives. And all of these experiences that you saw in these first eight verses, they are appropriate in our life at certain times. There is a season, yes it is, to be born in a time to die, a time to plant, and a time to pluck up that which is planted. So everything has its season. Reminded, teach us to number our days. So our eternity awaits us on the other side of our mortality. Whoa, Lord. He has made everything beautiful in this time and not our time. Everything is beautiful because this time is always perfect time. So in closing, my brothers and my sisters, wherever you are today, whether you're waiting Wishing, wanting, or wondering, take off. Be of good courage. Don't give up. Don't give in. And don't give up. Because God's perfect time in your life is worth the wait. Time, my brothers and sisters, is a gift from God. Don't Waste the time you have been given. And so when God says it's time, it's time. Because when the earthly walk of life is over, <laughs> you want to God say, it's time. Come on in. It's time. You've been faithful. Time to come on in. 
from your labor to reward. I don't know what you, but I'm going to hear you say, it's time, Miller, to get your reward from the labor. Your labor has not been in vain. So I got to tell somebody today that when God says it's time, it's time. My time is up for right now. God bless you for the time you gave me. Hallelujah. Jesus, Lord, believe in my heart that God raised you from the dead. And thou shalt be saved. At this moment in time, it's that one today who would accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and your Savior. It's that one today, man, woman, boy, or girl, open invitation, whosoever will. Let them come. Don't miss your moment in time. That unction in your spirit. God is telling you time to move. To a new level. Get on the light. It's time. When it's time, it's time. God bless you. And may God give you some time to be all that you can be in this in Christ. Amen. Amen. Yeah. God bless you. Have a smile upon you. Amen. 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 Amen.